Ann Conway is a senior advisor to the Trump transition team. She was campaign manager for the president-elect, and we're pleased to have her here. Welcome. Thank you, Charlie. So I'm reading the papers this morning, a personal question. Oh. I see in the name of Kushner and Bannon and Sessions and Priebus and Ryan and McConnell and Pence and the family. What is it that you might be doing in this new administration? I appreciate you asking me. I just want to go for my highest and best use to serve President-elect Trump and Vice President-elect Pence, two men I admire greatly, and I'm glad that they will but be But you have a special leaders. relationship. You came in at an important moment in the campaign. I have a special relationship with both of them, and I'm thrilled that they will be leading this country, Charlie. I am still sorting that out. I have four small children. I'm sure many reviewers can relate to that. And I need to really balance the personal considerations with the professional ones. But I've been with uh, President-elect Trump every day since he was elected, and I love the hive of activity that is Trump Tower and transition down in Washington, where I was also this week. Have you been and asked to, to serve a role? I have. I was asked immediately what to I would serve. like to do. Yes. Let me turn now to some of the visitors that may be there and will be coming, including heads of state, the, the Japanese prime minister. Uh, as you well know, the candidate said during the campaign that he might want to reconsider and have Japan consider how much it is willing to prepare and to pay for its own defense. Well, maybe they'll discuss that today. I think it's a much more informal meeting than all of that, since we have a current president and commander-in-chief, and President Obama is still the president. So we're sensitive to the fact that these early meetings with heads of state occur within that construct, that fact, Charlie. But at the same time, our very happy Prime Minister Abe will be there to meet with President-elect Trump and Vice President-elect Pence today. Uh, but, you know, President Obama is on his last foreign trip in that capacity. So I think any deeper conversations about policy and the relationship between Japan and, and the United States will have to wait until after the inauguration. The front page of The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Jared Kushner will likely get a top White House post. What does he want to do? I spoke with Jared last night and again this morning, actually. He has not sought out a national security clearance. He has not applied for any job. But he obviously is incredibly important to his father-in-law, President-elect Trump, and was a big, big part of our uh, election victory, frankly. Jared's been intimately involved with the campaign and the strategy from day one, and I'm sure that he and his and his wife and her brothers will continue to be very supportive. But uh, time will tell uh, in terms of the positions that different people still... Tradi what? Traditionally, the president announces his national security staff first. Uh, so, uh, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is heading to Trump Tower today. Her yes. lieutenant governor told local reporters that she is under considerations to be secretary of state. Is she on the short list? Well, we have long short lists at Trump Tower in terms of transition. I think some people are expected on those lists, Nora, and some people would surprise you, would be unexpected. But this is what President-elect Trump is doing every day, meeting with advisors, uh, having interviews with potential candidates for each of these positions. It's serious business. And I took a look yesterday at the timelines from past administrations, and we're basically right on target with respect to where other presidential administrations in formation have been, including President Obama's. And I very much appreciated what Vice President Biden said yesterday after his meeting with Vice President-elect Pence. He basically said, hey, we in, in Obama, Biden world did not have our administration formed in week one, and they don't either. It would probably be irresponsible to go ahead and, and name all the people right at once. But we're very happy that Governor Haley is coming to meet with President-elect Trump. I'm sure they'll have a, a broad, a wide-ranging conversation. And I think everybody should be very heartened and very, and if not surprised, mean, the number of people who have come forward expressing interest in high-level positions. Does it mean that the president-elect is seeking out women with an extra effort because of some of the questions raised during the campaign? He wants to make sure that women people his administration. Well, the major qualification, though, is can you do the job? Right. And that's, that's a major criterion is are you qualified to do this job? And then I think secondly, Charlie, it's do you support what President-elect Trump has put forward as his first 100-day plan? It's very specific. It's out there for all to see. And uh, any of these individuals who would serve in his cabinet or on his senior staff should be well aware that this is a man who intends to get things done quickly. He's a businessman. He's accountable for results. He delivers. He produces. Uh, the excuse of divided government that has existed for probably six years, having two parties in power in Washington, D.C., that's gone now. You have one party in power. And I think uh, the yoke is, is, is uplifted in terms of you can actually execute and deliver and produce. But it also takes away the excuse that I think many have been using in Washington, D.C. to not get things done. Is Rudy Giuliani, he's been very vocal about his desire to be Secretary of State. Is he a leading contender? 
He's a leading contender for any number of positions. He's incredibly loyal to Donald Trump. He was very important during the campaign. Are you concerned about his business connections that have been raised? No, I, no I'm not. And I understand that people want to vet things uh, publicly. But again, we have a process that should be respected. And, you know, Gail, I just can't help but feel, uh, whether it's the protesters or whether it's some of the unfortunate and, frankly, inaccurate headlines about some of the senior team and would-be cabinet members floating through the press, particularly the print press. What is inaccurate about the Steve Bannon headline? I assume you're referring uh, to that. Pretty much everything. Uh, the man is uh, hes brilliant, and he treats everyone kindly and the same. And I think people are cherry-picking some, uh, some headlines and maybe even some projects that he was not he was not involved with. Uh, he has the ear and the trust of the president-elect. And I, you know, Rudy Giuliani uh, would be, if he was our secretary of state, he would command a certain presence uh, worldwide. But I think he's, he's qualified for many different positions. Kelly, it's great to have you. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much for having me. Thank you very much.